here with Garden Style. So here we are in the year of 2021. Wow, what a year 2020 has been. From our end here at the Garden Center, it was an extremely busy year for us and we're expecting the same for 2021. Currently, we are closed. We decided to take a break from January 1st through the 14th. We're going to reopen again on Friday, the 15th, and get this new season rolling. And we're psyching up for a whole lot of new trends, new product, new plants, and I'm already getting itchy and very excited for this new year in 2021. And what I'm most excited about are all the new gardeners and the new faces that we saw last year, as well as the old ones uh, that came in to see us. But just anxious to get going with the busy season and get those gardeners out there planting and beautifying the yard. And that's what it's going to be about here in the year of 2021. So stay tuned and I'll cover some of those topics with you and some of the great things you can expect in the upcoming year. Hi everybody and welcome to 2021. So today I'm going to cover some of the upcoming garden trends for 2021. And that's going to be hard to do without reflecting a little bit on 2020. So as we all know, our lifestyles changed dramatically in the past year. And it's also affected your local garden centers as well. So I was going to go over some of these trends and what we are expecting to see here in the gardening world for the year of 2021. So as we know, due to a global pandemic, a lot of us have been locked down. And what that has created is approximately 24 million new gardeners during the year of 2020. So we're expecting some of that, if not all of it, to start coming back again for 2021. And what has that caused? Well, a lot of us have been home. A lot. So a lot of people have sought out gardening, not only to rectify the boredom that they are incurring while they're at home, but a lot of folks have also started working from home. And they may find they, be, they will be working from home on a permanent basis. So a lot of folks want to enhance their home while they're there for so many hours during the day. And that also means getting outside rather than doing everything inside. But I will start with the indoor gardening trends as we're already seeing a big influx when it comes to houseplants, which has been an ongoing trend anyway. But now that folks are setting up an in-home office, they're looking for plants not only to clean the air, but to set up in an aesthetic within the office so it feels more comfortable. It also looks better if you're on a Zoom meeting, for instance. A lot of folks have been home because the kids are in school right now. So they've had to get their kids interested in something while they've been at home. So we saw a lot of families with their kids learning how to grow seeds, nurture seedlings, and grow plants in the outside garden as well as inside. So that has created a whole new influx on not only the seed buying, we basically sold out last year as did everybody else. It was almost impossible to find seeds by the time you got to the month of May. So I would recommend those of you who are going to start seeds indoors start them early. Um, we've doubled up on our orders this year for seeds just for that reason because um, we're fully expecting another rush on seeds this year as more and more people are getting involved with getting their hands dirty and getting into the dirt. So I've made a bunch of notes here for gardening trends being most of us are at home more than we used to be and we don't suspect that traveling and uh, doing international traveling, that kind of thing, is going to be a big thing this coming year. More folks are still staying at home. The home improvement centers are seeing it. The garden centers are seeing it. And I just thought I would clue you in as to what to expect for this coming year. So being we've got 24 million new gardeners hitting the garden centers, we need to be prepared. So the very first trend we're seeing, of course, is houseplants. And that's already started, being we're still here in the winter months in the northern hemisphere. And there's some very popular houseplants, mostly tropical plants with big leaves have been very popular. Sansevieria has been very popular, as it's been notated all over the internet that they're excellent for cleaning the air. 
other house plants that have been very popular are air plants. Uh, so if you don't have a major green thumb, you can grow an air plant. You can also grow succulents. Succulents continue to be extremely popular for the year of 2021, and there's all kinds of ways to not only plant them, but display them inside the home. Okay, and then, of course, the next trend which is ongoing is growing your own food. More and more people are building raised beds, they're integrating vegetables into their flower beds, as well as containers on the back deck. So, again, vegetables will be extremely popular th this year, as well as fruit. We sold out every single one of our fruit trees last year, as people are finally getting confident enough and brave enough to start planting fruit trees in the yard. So look out, growing your own food is becoming more and more popular. And the neat thing about growing your own food is if you grow too much, you can easily share it with the neighbors, or better yet, give it to your local food bank later on in the season. So growing your own food is also a major trend for 2021. Another trend that we're starting to see are teeny tiny plants little two inch plants. More and more people are buying these little small specimens not only for terrariums but for small teeny tiny container gardens. They're awfully cute sitting on your desk in your home office. So teeny tiny plants have also become extremely popular let alone being less expensive so when they get bigger you haven't put a huge investment into the plant but you get the opportunity to watch it grow. So teeny tiny plants are also extremely popular and uh, continue to be for the year of 2021. Okay, so now that we are home more, a lot of us are wanting to spend more time outdoors at night. So moonlight gardens and night lighting has become extremely popular in this past year and we suspect it's gonna become even more popular in 2021. So moonlight garden means all white. We sold a lot of white plants last year. White flowers, white pots, anything that can show up at night so that you're able to enjoy your garden at the nighttime as well as during the day. Solar lighting of all sizes, shapes, colors, inventions you can possibly imagine have also become extremely popular for lighting up the nighttime while you're outside. Fire pits, whether they be a do-it-yourself fire pit or something you can purchase at the store, is another item that's become extremely popular in the backyard. So folks can start enjoying roasting marshmallows in their own yard without having to travel out or go camping to do the same thing. So those of us here in the garden center and the nursery business, we're starting to carry fire pits. So if you're looking for some, check your local garden centers as well as your home improvement stores and you should be able to find some. Okay, another huge trend coming up real quickly is native plants. More and more people are finding out that if they go native, they will find not only is it less to take care of, less maintenance, but they're also extremely durable and very tough, being they are already used to your climate in your zone. So I would suspect that native plants are going to become even more popular in the upcoming years. A lot of your county extension offices can give you a list of the native plants that do best in your area. You can also Google it, go online, and a lot of your nurseries are starting to carry a much bigger collection of the native plants that will do well in your area. So don't be afraid to ask when you go into your local nurseries about your local native plants and what is best in the sun and what is best in the shade. We are also going to be creating our own area of native plants here in our nursery so it makes them easier to find and we can answer a lot of questions regarding native plants and how to garden with them. Native plants too can also be mixed in with regular plants. I mean let's face it, not all your native plants are that exciting even though they're durable but if you can find a really good ground cover that's native to your area, go ahead and mix it in with your perennials, shrubs, and trees, and they all will blend beautifully together. And a lot of your local nursery centers can help you with those combinations and help you design a garden that is not only low maintenance, but will last you a long time and give you something beautiful to enjoy. All right, what is next on the list? 
Well, some products. What kind of products are you going to start to find for the year of 2021? Lots of pottery, whether that be indoor or outdoor. You're going to find lots of neutral colors in grays, beiges, whites, blacks. But you're also seeing a couple of other colors starting to show up on the scene that are also very popular. And that will be violet or hues thereof and blues, about any type of shade of blue that you can find. I have found personally that any type of blue pot will show off just about any kind of plant you put in it. So violets and blues are some of the colors you'll be seeing hot on the market for the year of 2021. Wind sculptures, spinners, anything that can move in the wind. And that, again, there are all sizes, shapes, and colors that you're going to find in wind spinners. Some of them are absolutely beautiful and are like wind sculptures in and of themselves. And slowly but surely, we've been expanding our lineup year after year as they just can't seem to stay in the store. People are enamored with them when the wind blows. So it gives you movement out in the garden as well. So look out for wind sculptures. There'll be a lot of them available. Water fountains. We have gotten into water fountains big time here at the nursery. We normally carry them, but now you're finding them where they light up. So again, you can add a water fountain or a feature of some sort to your garden and have it light up at night, which also extends the home from the inside to the outside practically year-round uh, if you live in our area. Colored glass. You're going to see lots of glass sculptures, uh, hanging chimes, stakes, garden stakes that are made out of the most beautiful colored glass you have ever seen. So I'm really excited for the collections that we're receiving here in our store for the spring. So keep an eye out for that as they are absolutely stunning out in the garden. And if you have an area that's not giving you a whole lot of color, colored glass garden stakes or even wind sculptures are beautiful in those areas to add a little more life to that dull side of the garden. Another thing that's very popular, of course, is solar stakes and chimes. Anything that will light up at night is just hot on the market right now. And I, I can't even believe the selection. There are so many different varieties of solar stakes and chimes. It's, we couldn't possibly carry them all. So we try to pick our favorites, but by all means, start looking for those um, while you're out doing your plant shopping in the spring. And of course, fire pits is a big deal and tropical plants that's indoor as well as outdoors anything with huge leaves like banana trees, cannas, fatsias, rubber trees, anything with huge leaves that looks tropical is becoming a huge trend uh, over this coming year and we guarantee you we're going to be carrying a lot more of them uh, this coming spring. So different themes you can start looking for out in the garden uh, this coming year as a major 2021 trend is romance. Lots of romance where it comes to the lighting, the plants, just creating that romantic cottagey kind of atmosphere where you have a zen kind of place to go. Um, also a woodland garden is becoming extremely popular, especially here in the northwest where we're surrounded by trees. Woodland gardens are becoming the thing to start planting in just about everyone's neighborhood and everyone's yard. And of course the jungle, which will start to insert all of those tropical looking plants out in the yard. So romance, woodland, and jungle themes are hugely popular for the year of 2021. So that's kind of a brief overview as to some of the trends you're going to see coming up here in 2021. Um, can guarantee you we're still going to be spending some time, a lot more time at home and a lot less time traveling. So the home has become the nest. We've all started nesting and improving our homes in all kinds of different ways. But the garden has played a huge part in that, not only for us to find a respite from all the news and the noise that's going on out there, but also as a hobby. Uh, a way to get exercise uh, and a way to rest the mind uh, when you're not working from home. Great way to get outside and get your hands dirty. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this short little video. The next ones coming up will probably include house plants as well as the fungus that's among us. I will be starting to cover all the different funguses, diseases, and bugs and things you can start doing in the late winter, early spring to avoid those issues in the spring and summer garden. All right, you guys, I hope you've had a fabulous holiday. Welcome to 2021, and we hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.